Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today it's Sunday. I've uh, actually spent today with my friends and family and in the next couple of weeks we'll be doing the muck spreading, muck carting. After llama we've got the hedge cutter coming, we'll be out with the hedge cutter. And then we've got the carving, the lambing, the muck spreading, and then it will be ploughing, drilling and silage. So anyway, I thought I'd show you this quickly. I had loads and loads of messages as of late um, about the John Deere 6310 we saw at Cambridge the other day, which is a really cool tractor. Um, however, it is in really bad condition. And I worked out today, it will cost around six to 8,000 to do it up. And I think it will go for about 15,000. So it's gonna cost quite a lot of money to bring that tractor back to life. So I don't think it's gonna be viable. Thank you for all the messages on it. We've also had a lot of messages about the protests in Germany at the moment, which we'll just take a look at. And a lot of people have been sending pictures and videos of fast tracks. One of you guys rang me up today, a friend of mine, um, and was talking to me about JCB fast tracks. And we should have one for the farm because they're high speed. We can go and transport silage. We can move the cattle around with them. So we'll look at a fast track as well. And I'll just show you here. We've got some information on the latest John Deere auction. This was the rare auction I spoke to you about last week. We've got some more pictures of the auction. There's a John Deere 8410, a John Deere 6910 with 50k hubs, if you have a look there. That's the rare 6910, which I was quite interested in. I did speak to Cheffins when I was up at Cambridge the other day. And unfortunately, I do believe this is an only online auction. I don't think that we can see this in person, which is such a shame because I would have loved to have seen that 6910 and that 8410. Such a rare collection of classics. I would imagine this farmer must be retiring or going out of business, perhaps, something like that, whether they were a farmer or a contractor. There's also a John Deere 6900, 6600, 3650, 3050, 3040, 4440, Ford 7740, 6610 with a Bonford hedge cutter, some loaders and tally handlers, some really rare tractors there. Um, and it is really nice to see a 6910 coming up for sale with 50k. And these rare tractors are gonna be going under the hammer on Tuesday, the 13th of February. So not long to wait, and they'll be going under the hammer. They're very rare, especially the 6910 and the 8410. So looking forward to that. And then a lot of you guys as well have been asking about the protests in Germany. I've had lots of messages about this. It seems to mainly be about diesel and subsidy cuts. So Germany's looking for some money because they've spent a lot of money on their green movement over the last couple of years and they're trying to claim back some money so they're trying to tax the farmers um, which they're finding out is not a wise move because a lot of the farmers have gone to the streets and protested one thing i will always tip my hat to the europeans the french the dutch they will protest they do stick up for, for farming and they do get results so in the next six months next year i'm going to be really interested to see what happens with the protest and what the what the political outcome is will they back off on the farmers after this or will they keep driving to, to cut the subsidies on local farmers who ultimately are just trying to produce food for the population you know what's so what's so wrong with that so i hope that uh, a positive solution is found um and then next to that we've got this i've had my eye on this for a while um a lot of people have commented about it it's a it's a very rare little john deere it's a 6330 but what's unusual about it is it has 50k um, used to have a 6.3, 6.300. I will just show you the one we looked at the other day at the sale. Um, I was seriously considering putting a bid on this today. However, as I said, it's going to cost an absolute arm and a leg to do it up. It needs new tyres. It needs a new cab interior. It needs new mud guards, new side steps, a new cab roof, uh, to name a few. And then there's the bushings, the bearings, all the other things. So unfortunately, it is a bit of a non-starter. Plus, you've got obviously the initial price of the machine. However, it is super rare and it's such a cool model, 6310, um, going after my old 6300, which I used to have. So it is one I would actually use on a bale wrapper or on a hay rake or something like that. So I'm I'm really sad that uh, I will not be investing in it. However, that's not to say if we don't find something else in a little bit better condition in the future, I might not invest in one of those. But I did really like it in a funny sort of way. And part of me wants to do the restoration. Part of me wants to save it. But I think it will be saved on the export market. It will go somewhere else around the world, I should imagine. And yeah, thanks for all the messages about it. But unfortunately, it's just it's just too far gone. So that's what's going on with that one. Anyway, I saw this really nice 6.3. 6.3.30 in at Oakfields. It's very unusual because it has panoramic doors. It's got a luxury sunroof. And it also has 50 kilometer an hour gearbox, which is quite unusual for a 3.30. 
Um, also, it's in really nice condition. You can tell that someone's looked after it. I believe it has done about 7,000 hours. That being said, it's about 115 horsepower on boost. It is super cool. It would match the 6930 very well, and it would do all the small jobs I want to do as well. So leave, let, let me know in the comments section down below. Leave a comment in the comments. Um, do you want me to go and have a look at this? All depends on the price, if they do a good price, but it is really cool when you can tell someone's looked after it. So very rare to see a 330 with 50K. You sometimes saw the 50K on the 430s, but not very often on 330s. Again, it's got panoramic doors, which is quite unusual on these as well. You don't get the side windows. Something it would be quite good for with the panoramic doors like that is if you put a hedge cutter on the back, you'd get good visibility. That's one of the advantages. Although I do personally prefer the pop windows. That being said, it has got a really nice sunroof inside the cab, which pops open. So it's quite an unusual tractor, not one I expected to see. Um, these sorts of tractors are becoming rarer and rarer. And there, of course, the other beautiful thing about it is it's non-ad blue. It hasn't got many emissions things on it, and it's a very nice size. It will be very fuel efficient, I would say, on the rake, raking up silage in front of the fent baler. And I think it is one to keep an eye on. So there you can see the cab. It's running the auto quad gearbox. It's got the sunroof with the panoramic roof, which opens up. So you can let some fresh air in the cab. It also has a really good sound system on it. And it's actually been looked after. So yeah, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, tomorrow is a really big day for me because we're gonna be scraping out. Then later on this week, it's Llama. I'm actually hiring a car to go to Llama in. I'm trying to hire a Toyota Hilux to go down on that in. So I hope to see all of you down there later on this week. And if you are going, have a good time, have good fun. I'll be on the Shelbourne stand, lots of different stands, manager and everything. Leave a comment about the 330. It is a shame to see what's going on in Germany. I hope they, get, they, do, uh, they do get it resolved at some point. Not going for the 6310. We've got this rare auction coming up next month, end of this month. And then I might go down to Essex, Saffron Walden, I believe it is, at some point to go and have a look at this wonderful, wonderful tractor. So with that, enjoy your Sunday evening, whatever you're up to. Keep liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel. And click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.